We are now coming up to an absolutely massive smoker. This is what we've been waiting for all through the dive. It's not so much tall, it's very, very, very wide. I can see at least 100 chimneys. Many of them are active. This is really, really beautiful. And covering it, absolutely covering it, are literally thousands and thousands of shrimp. These shrimp are called rimi caris. Rimi means rift, caris means shrimp. And they're only found on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and they were only discovered in 1985. Scientists who first discovered them describe them as thousands and thousands of maggots swerving over a piece of dead meat. I think that's rather unkind. They're much more beautiful than that. They actually remind me of bees. There are hundreds of bees on a honeycomb all dancing around. Unbelievable. One false move and they'd be boiled alive. It's completely extraordinary. I mean, these shrimp are living in biological hell. I mean, just think about it. They are millimetres away from boiling hot water that would boil them alive immediately. There is absolutely no light down here for photosynthesis. The water is full of acidic hydrogen sulfide-rich gas, which normally is poisonous to all life forms. And yet here, somehow, they're surviving in extraordinary numbers. At the very bottom of the food chain are highly specialised bacteria that are able to fix the energy in sulphides. They use that energy to make simple sugars, carbohydrates, which feed all the rest of the life here. They looked closely at these shrimp and found they've got wonderful mouth parts in which they can actually scrape up the sulphur bacteria from the surface of the rock. There's also one theory that they might actually cover themselves with the sulfurous bacteria on their bodies and in their gill rakers. And they're actually almost gardening the, the, the bacteria and feeding off that. And what's so exciting about the discovery here at the hot vents is that up until people saw life on the hot vents, all life systems on our planet, without exception, were totally dependent on the sun's energy. But here, a complete suite of animals, a complete ecosystem, living without the sun's energy, but totally reliant on the energy coming out through the seafloor from the Earth's crust in this billowing hot hydrogen sulfide. One of the most remarkable things of all about these vents is that the conditions we found here, the horrific conditions we find down here, the enormous pressure, the total absence of light, and the high temperatures may just be exactly the same conditions that prevailed when life on Earth first began. And some scientists even speculate that the first building blocks of life were not found in the primordial soup of shallow lakes near the surface, but were first constructed right down here at the bottom of the ocean. It seems that we may be looking at the very birth of life on Earth right down here in the very depths of the abyss.